Congratulations on receiving your Rise Bolt bike. Prior to opening, please inspect your box. If you do notice any damages, please take photos. This is to support any claims in the event the product was damaged from shipping. Now you're ready to open up your box. Remove all zip ties and protective foam inside. Remove the front wheel out of the box, which should have your front quick release axle attached, and set aside these items for later. Finally, remove the bike from the top by gripping the stem with one hand and the seat tube with the other. This usually requires two people, so you might want a friend to help you. Next, remove the wooden fork stand using a 10mm wrench. I like to hoist it onto a piece of foam so I can access it better. Now we're ready to assemble your bike. Remove the silver spacer and retainer from the head tube. You're going to want to use a 5mm allen key for this. Then grab your handlebars and insert it into the head tube. Once that's positioned all the way in, unlatch your lever and collapse the handlebar to reveal your headset. Then grab your bolt and thread it through the spacer and anchor it into the headset using a 5mm allen key. Once your bolt is tightly secured into the head tube, please reposition the handlebars to the upright position and lock the lever. Now we're ready to install the front tire. Remove the quick release axle and brake disc protector from the tire. Moving on, remove the brake pad protector from the brake caliper. It's a plastic tab that can be removed by simply pulling on it. Finally, raise the bike by the handlebars and fit the wheel into the fork making sure the brake disc is sitting between the brake pads. The fork will ultimately catch onto the wheel's axle. Next, grab your quick release axle in the correct orientation. The lever should be on the opposite side of the brake disc with the narrow portion of the springs facing inwards. Tighten the nut until the lever on the other side experiences adequate resistance to lock in place. Make sure your handlebars are aligned perpendicular to your tire. Then, tighten the two bolts at the stem using a 5mm allen key. Moving on to our pedals, identify the left and right as indicated on each pedal. Failure to differentiate will cause pedals to ruin the threads in the crank arm where reinstallation will not be possible. Once that's understood, install the pedals by rotating them towards the front of the bike. In other words, the left pedal should be rotated counterclockwise and the right rotated clockwise. At the end, please tighten the pedals firmly with the wrench. If at any given moment you're struggling to thread the pedals in, please take it out and reattempt as these pedals are made to be spun in with ease. Now we can install the front fender. Remove the headlight assembly using a 5mm allen key while holding the backside with a 10mm wrench. Then sandwich the front and rear fender tabs around the fork connector and thread the bolt through the headlight and secure it with the nut at the backside. To finish off our fender assembly, remove the screws on the forks from both sides. Then, using the same bolts, secure the rods to the fork all while using a 4mm allen key. After that, grab your seat post and slide it into the stem. Loosen the knob to adjust the height. Once satisfied, tighten the knob and lock your lever. Finally, pump your tires with the appropriate tire pressure. You can find this information on your tire sidewall or in your owner's manual. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the ride.